Hello again, and welcome to new subscribers. Since my last update, I received the parts that I been made by a machine shop for me. I felt those parts were necessary to be machined better than I could do, even though it was quite expensive. Since everything on the air engine would be either indexed or attached to them, I think it was worth it. Last year, I felt I had the three-cylinder air engine to the point where I should build the final six-cylinder version. There are some modifications that I think will improve the efficiency and durability of the engine though. In this video I want to show you how things progress as I put the air engine together. The first of the video uh, is for new subscribers to show the test drive of my converted lawnmower from the garage to the road and back to the garage. It's the three cylinder engine running on 300 PSI. The engine ratio to tire rotations is 3 to 1. The three cylinder air engine has 37 foot pounds of torque on a 24 inch tire to the ground. I hope the exhaust sound stays the same in the six cylinder as it is in the three cylinder. I really like that. So the first video will be the First, uh, it was necessary for me to draw out to scale to do simulations and to make sure things go where and when I want them to. Cylinder and valve timing has to be coordinated. showed uh, how I set up the slider valve timing in relation to the offset plates and the piston timing. After I decided how I wanted to lay it out, I had to uh, draw it and lay out all the mounting holes, 
full-scale dimension for the machine shop so they could make it for me. The uh, next thing is the picture of the base plate. That's a picture of the two offset drive plates. That's a picture of the three pusher shafts that the pistons push back and forth to uh, make the engine rotate. That's a picture of the main drive shaft. The left is the cylinder base blocks and on the right is the cylinder block spacers. They're needed to compensate for height differences due to the three pusher shafts that you'll see later on. This is an actual picture of the uh, finished air engine base plate along with the six cylinders and mounting bolts. I started mounting things and I found out that some things had to be put on in a different order or I couldn't get something else on. So that's something you, you learn as you go. I got the offset plates mounted to the drive shaft underneath the uh, pusher shafts and then also the three pusher shafts mounted and some of the cylinders also bolted on. The uh, top bearing plate needed to be made so that I could work on other things that would have to be uh, mounted to the shaft and held in position, so I started working on that next. And got that finished. Next, I tried mounting the slider valves and the valve shafts, but ran into much drag with the six shafts riding on each other. And besides, I had valve leaks that I just couldn't live with, so I decided I'd, I'd have to do something different. So, I have have to have valves that don't leak and work with minimal effort. So I went back to the drawing board and after a few days I came up with a double valve using a double offset camshaft that uh, attaches to the drive shaft. So I started making the first one. and how the valves would be pushed and pulled by the two eccentrics. There would be an exhaust and an intake, and one of the eccentrics would push the exhaust, the other would push the intake, and it would push it from there. Start pushing number one up, there it would be Number one would be wide open. Wide open. Number one is the top one. When it's halfway down, it would be completely open. As it goes around, it would go away from it. Come back up, touch it, push it open, pull open, pull close, go away from it. And now the one that's pushing on number one would actually be pushing on the exhaust. After being pretty sure that uh, 
they would work right, I went ahead and started uh, machining them. But uh, I had some problems. First one I broke the drill bit off in and couldn't get the piece out, so that ruined the first valve. And then a little later, when I was working on the valve stems, I ended up breaking a tap off inside of one of the valve stems, so that ruined one of those. But finally, I I got one made that that works. Use it. After I got it made and I mounted it on the top of valve number six, see how it works and seemed like it worked all right. Needed a spacer though to get it up to the proper height. I've been working on uh, cylinder number six for the last couple of days and I think I got it uh, pretty much the way it has to be. I, I put the uh, brackets on and I made some side brackets to support the push rods whenever the shaft comes around and opens and closes the valves. And I tried it a while ago and to my surprise, the thing started running on one cylinder. So. I'll let you see. Maybe it'll do it again. We'll wait and see. Wow. <laughs> That's my one cylinder, but it, it like gets up and goes, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to keep working on a little bit more and see what happens. the air off that time. There. Put it back on. As you could see in the video, there was some shaking going on, but I think I have that solved now. I added a uh, balancer cam right above the two cam shafts so I can compensate for the off balance. So for now, that's where I am with building the air engine. But also, the other day, a subscriber. I think it's pronounced Zaykath Zaykath sent me a comment about the GoFundMe account that I have tried to get donations for purchasing a high pressure tank and compressor. And he suggested that rather than put the total amount needed, which is thirty six thousand to cover both the tank and the compressor that I try splitting it up and try just for the tank amount, which is $6,000. I think that's a good idea, and I have changed the account to that, so we'll see how that goes. If anyone would like to help out, it would be appreciated. Or, if you just go to the GoFundMe account and share it, that would also help a lot, I'm sure. So as things progress, I'll keep you posted. And thanks again for looking in. And until the next time, I'll just say 